Welcome back guys to another episode of Factorio Towns with me, Massive Dynamic. This is episode 19. So here we are starting off in Bentham and as you can see the train just arrived and it's bringing Purple Science which is the production science pack. In the last episode we had been working on getting that going so Let's take a look at our progress. Uh, you know, we've done a few things since the last episode, but we will start at. Uh, I guess we'll start. You know what we'll do? We'll jump in the train. I'm in the wrong train. We will jump in the the science train. And no, that's a bad idea. We won't do that. I was thinking it would take us on a tour of what we've done, but it really won't. So, we'll jump back in our train, and we'll take a run down to, uh, let's see, we'll go to Modulus. Let's start at Cook, actually. We'll take a look at Cook first, which is uh, a town where we make... The furnaces and as you can see one of the things I did in between episodes was I used the yellow concrete the hazard concrete to uh, make the letters more visible so we can see them as we travel so here we are in cook and yeah this is where we're making the electric furnaces so we bring in the, the steel and the stone brick and we make the furnaces and and we load them up on this train right here which is actually we don't load them on that train anymore those are just leftovers on that train that I need to, that's, that's something that I need to fix in between the next episode so there we have that so from cook we'll head to modulus which I believe was under construction in our last episode so let's take a look at what's going on in Modulus, which is right over here. Yeah, I think in Modulus, we, we were just getting ready to start building our uh, module production. So here we can see in Modulus, we're building the um, Productivity Module 1 and also Speed Module 1. So far, that's all we have going, but we will build all our modules there in time. So here, there's our train. So we can see that right now we're out of the red circuits. And also, we didn't finish building this. But uh, eventually we will add a little bit more, uh, a little more delivery here and we'll build the, the other set of circuits and then we'll do also the um, efficiency circuits uh, modules here also and we are the modules out on this side of, of the modulus station and then back in the train again we go to our final stop which is going to be Tyrion which is our newest station and it's right here I put it right off the uh, west side of Bentham and it is where we're building our uh, purple science and the name Tyrion came from Chris Hall thanks a lot Tyrion uh, comes from uh, the ancient um, uh, Greek I think where they used to make um, purple from uh, shellfish shells uh, the island of Tyre I believe or the city of Tyre if it's an island uh, is where that comes from and uh, I thought that was a great name so, uh, so we went with that one thanks a lot Christopher appreciate you watching and your idea it was a great idea 
So, uh, yeah, so we bring in our three components, the furnaces, um, the modules, and the, what is the third item for Purple Science? I can't remember right now. Oh, yeah, the train track, uh, which is, oh, that's right, we didn't see, we were, that was under construction in the last episode, too, so let's take a run over there to oh yeah Stockton uh, Stockton which I th there we go that's right I knew it. I was forgetting something when we left modulus because Stockton was definitely under construction at the end of our last episode I think all I had was the the city map plop down um, but yeah so we're using electric furnaces there we'll see it when we get there but uh, we can see how far out we are we can go ahead and look on the map here we are uh, yes yeah, so we take the um, really don't have to bring anything in to Stockton at all uh, we've got the stone right here we've got the iron right here and uh, we just mine up the stone and bring it in that way and mine the iron turn it into iron split the iron and make steel from the rest and we're using electric furnaces uh, because we have them now and we'll get that all beaked up and eventually that will make a full lane of uh, Let's already make a full aid of iron. That's only because it's backed up because we don't need a lot of iron. What I should do is probably add another. In fact, I'll do that right now while I'm talking about it. Oh, wrong button. I'm still in map mode. Here we go. What I should do is add another splitter there to get more steel. Uh, more to make more steel from the iron. And, uh, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll take this here, and we'll go, like this, and we'll merge that back together. There we go, because we really don't need that much. The other thing I could do is... Reduce that down to, that's probably even a better way to do it, is to take this, and go like that, so that we only put one, one uh, half of the lane on there for the iron bars, iron sticks. Uh, so there, that's, that's what's happening at Stockton. And finally, I want to take you guys back over to Bentham to show you that uh, I've been doing quite a bit of work at Bentham, just in the background. So, we're not too far away. I think this should be a pretty quick ride. Shouldn't be a lot of traffic on this, on this side, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wait a minute now. Let me think about that. Yeah, we have to go all the way through burgundy and around it's not too bad but uh, first of all I don't know if I showed you guys the stacker uh, for the um, filling stations uh, I ended up putting it right there I took a little chunk out of the corner of Bentham in order to fit that in there but I thought that was okay because it's it's kind of part of the whole build so I thought that wasn't too bad um, then uh, I added uh, some more stations at the south end of Bentham because um, we needed a few things in here. We needed to get iron plates in somewhere because we had we didn't bring uh, we were done with our iron mine down here. Uh, so I just went ahead and brought the iron plates in because at that time I didn't have a spare iron mine. Um, but then. We ran, finally ran out of iron ore, and I realized, oh yeah, we need iron ore for the concrete. So I had to bring iron ore in 
and I just brought in one 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 car of it down here. Uh, but this is where we're making our um, accumulators, and we threw in a little bit of a of a um, solar build down here to uh, supplement our power. And um, so yeah, so the next episode we will probably start working on nuclear power since um, oh, our uh, nuclear power plant. Or not power plant, but our uh, power, our power is starting to get a little close. So instead of building another coal-fired plant, I thought, well, let's just go ahead and build a, a nuclear plant. So we'll get that probably set up for the next episode. Um, and there's one final thing that I had to do was throw down a blueprint that I had made. Just, or if I can remember where I put it. Uh, you know, I don't remember where I put it. That's okay. It's just a simple one. It All it does is, um, because we store up so much of the other sciences, I thought, well, why aren't we storing red and green science so yeah actually that's where we'll put it is right over here we'll just take some chests four chests to be exact and we'll take a couple of these guys and a couple of these guys And a power pole or two, and we'll pick up the green science on this side, red science on this side, so that we'll have some. When we're when we're busy out there in the world, so that science doesn't stop; it just keeps producing and it'll store up just like these because we have chest on top of chest on top of chest of the other sciences and we don't have any of the red and green stored up. So there you have it guys. That'll be the end of this episode. We will see you in the next episode. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for your comments. I really do appreciate it. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. Bye.